If you use the daily BMS on your battery and you are having problems with a runaway cell, i.e. a cell that is uh, dropping in voltage considerably and you're getting the warnings on the app, uh, or if you have a particular cell that is going too high uh, sort of and you're also getting the same sort of warnings but for high voltage on a particular cell I'm going to try and give you some tips of things that you can do to try and troubleshoot and debug and figure out what's going on what's the cause of it so here are a few things uh, that we would recommend and, and kind of the process of elimination that we go through with our own batteries if we ever experience these sort of issues or uh, if we have customers that reach out to us because the automatic default whenever something like that happens is people automatically saying things like oh the BMS is faulty it's clearly there's a problem but nine times out of ten uh, it's usually a, an error in the setup of the battery for example the balance leads have a problem they're not making contact properly uh, or it could be a faulty cell in the battery bank and sometimes it is the BMS that's faulty, but more often than not, that's something else. And so there's pro a process you can go through to try and figure out uh, what those are. So the first thing uh, that I would usually recommend to customers when they reach out and say something along the lines of, I've got one particular cell that drops in voltage considerably, especially when it's under draw, uh, when the battery is under, under um, when power is being drawn from the battery, and I've got one particular cell that consistently drops below the threshold and it keep getting this warning popping up, or the delta for that cell between the other cells is massive. Uh, what's the problem? How can I debug it? So the first thing that I would usually recommend to customers is to take the battery apart and uh, just double check the balance leads. Are all of the lugs on the balance leads connected properly? Are they terminated correctly? Um, is there an issue with uh, the wire connecting to the lug that could potentially uh, mean that the connection is dropping periodically or maybe the connection is not quite right and is not able to actually uh, read the voltage properly uh, from the cell. So that's the first thing that I would recommend. And on that, I know we've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. Please make sure that you size your balance leads with your lugs correctly. So often we see people that have these massive lugs like the yellow ones uh, on these tiny little cables. I believe these cables are 22 gauge. I might be wrong, but they are very small cables because they are carrying a very low, very small uh, current when they're balancing it's literally milliamps not even one amp so they really don't carry that much current most of what they're doing is actually reading the voltage uh, but they do carry a very small amount of current uh, when the battery is being charged or discharged uh, but it's minimal so that's why they're so small but so often I see people that extend these using a massive wire so it'll be like I don't know anywhere up to like a 16 gauge or 12 gauge wire which compared to this is very big and then they're obviously using a yellow barrel connector or they're using a yellow lug and that sort of stuff just not an ideal situation try and size the lugs onto the wires correctly so that you get a good termination of the wire in the lug and then your chance of error or issues is greatly reduced. So we particularly like these lugs and I'll link them in the description down below. So hopefully they are helpful. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus there for you. Um, but yeah, they have the, sh the heat shrink insulation on the lug and they work really well. We've used these for a long time and um, they are very reliable. So that's the first issue is I would say check the lugs or check the connections on your balance lead. Sometimes can be a connection on the terminal but more often than not it's the lugs on the balance leads that uh, might be causing problems also just double check that it's plugged in correctly and that the plug itself is not damaged that one of the wires not pulling out of the back here or something along those lines because that does happen from time to time uh, usually if you disconnect a balance lead wire completely the bms is no longer connected so it's not actually on um, but so you often it's just kind of a partial connection or um, like a partial connection which still allows voltage through but maybe not uh, an accurate reading so that's the first thing that I would check on the battery uh, the next thing uh, is would be to try and eliminate whether it's a particular cell that's faulty or a particular cell that is very different from the rest of the cells in terms of the internal resistance or internal uh, sort of performance of the cell. So let's say you take this battery bank here, let's say cell number three was consistently uh, dropping its voltage and you were getting warnings on your BMS 
the first thing that I would do would be to take the battery apart, reorder the cell. So I would take note of which cell it was that was giving the problems. And I would probably put that into position one, reorder the cells and then put it back together and use the battery again. What that'll tell you is if it, if it continues to give the same issue, but just changing position to cell number one, then you've eliminated the fact that it might be the BMS that is the problem. Then you automatically know that it is the cell that is causing the problem because you move the cell and then your problem has moved with it. Um, so that then allows you to go down that road of, okay, what's the problem with the cell? Is there a, an issue with the internal resistance? Is it just very different in terms of its internal resistance and components uh, and performance that it's not matched properly to the other three cells and maybe that's causing the issue or maybe it's actually faulty and dying uh, so that allows you to then replace it or figure something out along those lines usually in those situations you probably need to replace the cell uh, if it's not causing huge performance issues sometimes you can just monitor it there's not a lot of risk in terms of safety and i'll caveat that saying just um just take that with a pinch of salt but uh, if you have a good bms then if it drops voltage uh, or it goes to a very high voltage uh, then the bms should cut off uh, but usually i would recommend just get the cell replaced sometimes if you have an older battery bank and you have one particular cell that starts to die, uh, it's going to be difficult to find another cell to match the other three. Usually uh, you might get lucky, but especially when you're dealing with importing from China, unless you have a local supplier like us who has the cells uh, locally that can try and help to match the internal resistance or something along those lines or get a serial number that's fairly close and batch uh, to the original uh, set that you have. Um, it's probably going to be, uh, about time to replace the whole bank if you do have an issue like that uh, so that's something to be aware of um, uh, but sometimes just rearranging the cells reconnecting everything settles everything down and uh, and then sometimes while you're in that process another thing that can work as well is just to take everything apart move the order of the cells around re-top balance and then reconnect your bms sometimes just doing that uh, is helpful from time to time especially if you've had the same battery uh, in use for an extended period of time um, uh, because then uh, obviously sometimes the internal resistance and as the cells change and age uh, sometimes that can have an impact on their performance and so sometimes just uh, re reordering them and top balancing them again after you've used, you've used the battery for some time uh, can help with those sort of issues so yeah there's a couple of tips that i would recommend if you have a runaway cell uh, but Hopefully that's helpful. And if you have any questions or comments or anything that you would uh, like us to cover uh, on this channel, uh, then please let us know because the, this particular topic is something that we've faced uh, a fair amount over the last couple of months. We've had a few people come to us saying sort of things like, oh, I keep getting a cell that's dropping voltage or uh, I have a particular cell that's doing something strange. What can I do? And uh, when we've recommended to them to check the balance leads or to reorder the cells, often when they start to actually take the battery apart and look at reordering the cells we had one guy in particular who found actually one of his balance leads was not actually terminated correctly in the lug and so as soon as he saw that he was like oh okay well the bms is not faulty it's clearly an issue with the installation and so he was able to resolve that and then he was flying the battery was working great so hopefully that's helpful if you like i said if you have anything that you want us to cover any questions or anything like that please drop them in the comments otherwise we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching cheers Thank you.